Okay, so at the moment I've, I work in two different fields. I, I run my own um, social enterprise called Seven North and um, I work as a, an outreach worker in Newcastle City Centre, so I go and talk to young people on the streets. And I run three training courses um, under the name of Seven North. One's on pornography and sexting, one's on teenage um, abuse and relationships, and the third one is um, a course called Yes Means Yes, Exploring Enthusiastic Consent and Pleasure. So in um, the Yes Means Yes course, it is the, the day is split into two. So um, the first section is around enthusiastic consent. So what does it mean to enthusiastically consent? Um, we spend some time with the, with the professionals breaking down the, even the, sort of the, the terminology of consent. What does it mean to consent? Um, and actually break down the terminology of sex as well. What does sex mean? What, what acts are included in that? What acts are excluded? And then um, moving on from that, we'll, the whole afternoon's around pleasure and how to be sex positive um, in work because quite often, um, as one young woman said to me once, um, sex ed's all about boys come and how dangerous it is. It's never about um, sort of girls' orgasms or anything brilliant. And I think that kind of sums it up and that's where this work stemmed from. That quote has played with me um, and went round in my head for a lot of years until I've actually been able to finally kind of do something with it. Um, so actually one of the exercises that I do in the training is to get professionals to um, market condoms in a really positive way and they're not allowed, they have to come up with five reasons why somebody should use condoms that doesn't include um, STIs in pregnancy, which they find really, really hard. Really hard. It should be part, yeah, I think um, these conversations about pleasure, the conversations about, you know, fantasy sex versus um, real sex, um, in sort of the human condition, I guess, in terms of masturbation, you know. Masturbation is stress release. Oh, it's a, you know, it can be the best thing in the world. And I think, you know, these are all things that we need to talk about, I think, with young people. Um, how easy or difficult that's going to be in a context where PSHE isn't compulsory and, you know, isn't maybe likely to be compulsory anytime soon um, with this particular government. Um, it would be up to the one-to-one, the, -one, the voluntary sector organisations to really try and pick this up, I think.